Hello everyone and welcome to another 1 to 200 scale model unboxing. Today we are going to be unboxing the Gemini Jets 1 to 200 scale Air Canada Airbus A330-300. To start, let's take a quick look at the box before continuing and unboxing the model. On the front, as you can see, there is a computer generated image of the aircraft, the aircraft type in the bottom right corner, as well as the scale and the item number. Moving up, we have the Air Canada logo, as well as the Gemini 200 logo. Next, on either side of the box, you will find something similar to the front, missing only the Air Canada logo, with the Gemini 200 logo, the type of aircraft, the scale, and the item number, as well as the computer-generated image of the aircraft. Now, let's get into the unboxing. To start off, we are going to unlatch there, open up that, and carefully slide the foam holding out. Now, let's get into what's inside this foam holding. Inside this foam holding, as you can see, we have the aircraft, the stand, as well as the landing gear. Next, let's take a look at the aircraft. First, we're going to pull the plastic sheeting off and take a look at the landing gears. Both sets of landing gears come in little plastic packages like this. Next, let's take out the aircraft and put in the landing gear in the gear down configuration. Here it is. It's beautiful, isn't it? I hope you agree. Now, let's take a look at the landing gear on the bottom. The landing gear, as you can probably tell, is magnetic and detachable. So when you stick it in, it just attaches like that, making it incredibly easy to change it from the gear up to gear down configuration. Now, a review of the model. Starting at the nose, we have the nose cone, the windshield, and the iconic Air Canada black mask around the windscreen. Moving on, we have the Star Alliance logo, the L1 door, the nose gear, the Air Canada logo and title, the door, the engine, the landing lights, the wing, the winglet, and underneath the wing, the landing gear. Moving on, we have another door and the vertical, sta vertical stabilizer and the horizontal stabilizers. The registration for this aircraft is Charlie-Golf Foxtrot Alpha Foxtrot. And now we will take a quick look at the top of the model before moving on. Here you look at the top of the model, we have the antenna, the Wi-Fi domes, the strobe light, and more antenna as well as the Beautiful vertical stabilizer with the Air Canada logo. Now, a look at the bottom of the aircraft before we wrap up this video. As you can see at the front, we have the nose gear and the nose gear doors, followed by antenna, the strobe light, the Air Canada logo, the dual landing gear, the Gemini Jets logo, more antenna, the cargo doors, and the APU doors followed by the horizontal stabilizers. Now, before we finish, we should probably take a look at the aircraft on top of the stand and with its gear up configuration, landing gear pieces in. Here it is. Wonderful, isn't it? I've always liked the look of Gemini 200 models on their stands because of the nose up tilt. The stand is sturdy and looks neat and clean, although I would have liked if they had added the aircraft model and the airline name being Air Canada on the front of the stand right here. I mean, it's a great stand, but that would just take it to the next level. Unpackaging the gear configuration gears. These ones were a little harder to open, but eventually I got them and was able to put them in. Here is how they look. Now, this is how this amazing model looks with the gear up configuration gears in. As you can see, the nose gear appears to have retracted 
and same goes for the main gear. All in all, it's a wonderful model and I'd highly recommend buying it if you're a fan of either the A330 or Air Canada. I really do hope you enjoyed this video and this amazing model. Thank you so much for watching and before you go, I just want to show you a quick look at my newest project which is going to be a 1-200 to scale diorama mostly using Lego as ground crew and jetways of Kelowna International Airport. Thanks again and please if you liked this video remember to subscribe and stay tuned for my next unboxing, plane spotting or model video. Bye!